And we back. It's Vach Lombardi, and we're back with my offseason series, Best Sack Technicians. This is my favorite football play. There's so much diversity in it, so many different ways to win with, you know, different techniques, abilities, skill sets that you can bring together and mix and match to create what we call a sack. And I want to break down players from the National Football League, not just Cowboys. I know a Cowboy is first, but I'll be doing this for um for all players of the league. Not everybody, but I, I got like seven other names I want to do from different teams or whatever. But today, we're going to do Robert Quinn um, because not because he's a cowboy and I'm a cowboy fan but because a lot of people thought he was washed right um, you know he he kind of did the journeyman thing for a, a month or two he ended up with the Dolphins he had to stand up um, he wasn't really fitting in that 3-4 deal but he gets to Dallas puts his hand back in the dirt and now he's just you know taking that edge away from people man just 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 take a look at your boy man still got enough burst still got enough bend i like how he's defeating hands here he's not just running and ripping he's defeating hands he's getting these limbs off of me right if jason peters is gonna try to come with his right hand up oh, too bad we got that right hand defeated buddy see that long left right there that we're using to defeat jason peters right hand we just getting getting limbs off of us while we're um you know while we're you know using our athleticism or whatnot right and now now, if I've defeated your right hand, it's now basically my whole body against your left hand, right? And of course, that's not good for you. That's not good for you. Then the young boy Carson gets put on the ground because of your negligence. Fantastic play by Robert Quinn here. Let's take a look at Robert Quinn on the uh, the right side again, on your offensive left. Let's take a look at him, see what he's doing. Just taking that edge, man, right? Just just if if I'm going to beat you with ball get off and speed and relentless and and just all these things, man, but, <laughs> but then I got enough sense to defeat your outside side hand man that's just burst right there man that's just burst bro oh man major pain just terminated that bad man in the closet with extreme prejudice and if he's still in there he ain't happy <laughs> check this out man robert quinn don't always just beat you to the outside try not to get touched he even does his little hop step move right we've seen d law do it. we know aaron donald does it uh there's there's a handful of people that uh that use this technique according to some of them they got it from robert quinn i ain't know that uh i thought it was i thought this this move been existed but hey who knows they say they got it from robert quinn that's who they got it from uh but um I don't know if they really got a name for it. This move really wasn't out <laughs> when I was playing and coaching or whatever. I just kind of called a hop step, right? Just hop step, psh, defeat those hands. Do what you got to do there. And, 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 and it works fantastic. It's the Cowboys versus the Patriots. This damn tornado monsoon that they played in. So it was already slippery out there. It's going to come off the ball. And and you you, you know, we're, we're doing this hop for a, a couple reasons. Like we're... Um, propelling ourselves sure absolutely but take a look at what robert quinn is doing right see he's parallel to the end zone right now he's he's square but when we hop we get skinny we turn right we really want to you know what i mean cut that thing close like and if you look at the other um uh reps or whatever robert quinn's he's bending this thing to the outside to get you to go outside with him this time is more so like we're encouraging contact here right that's just a little bit of contrast be between this rush and the last rush. We're encouraging contact now, but when you get your hands up, we're using these slap moves and we're using this hop to really get off of you. And then once I get to this back hip, you're dead as fried chicken, my guy. Come here, goat. Take no young defensive ends. If you've been beating up on a tackle all game and you've been beating them with speed and quickness and burst to the outside, then of course you can catch people slipping with the good old bull rush, right? With the, hey, you think I'm going quick to the outside, but I'm really just going to run down the middle of you and use the power that I do have. I don't even know if, if, if Robert Quinn is naturally power, naturally more powerful than his dude. He, he could be. That's Andre Dillard. He could be naturally more more powerful than, 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 um, than Andre Dillard. But what really helps him here is that he gets off the ball and that he's really like he starts to the outside you see and then he ah, then he um commits to the inside right outside 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 then i'm gonna commit to this bull rush and robert quinn got hands inside i don't care what these new football people tell you i don't care what these analytic folks say i don't care what these nfl coaches saying about hands not being inside is not the thing anymore i come from an old school brand of football an old philosophy of football and everywhere i've been taught hands inside wins the fight if you push in a refrigerator you don't push it from the outside you push that thing down the middle and robert quinn got Got hands down the middle. Good knee bend right here. Good hat level. He's gonna just bull rush this cat too. He just, 
Damn, brother Carson, why we keep doing this to him? Why, why we keep doing Carson like that? Get off the ground. Anyway, man, I, I get I get I get frustrated with the different debates and hand techniques and all that stuff. But um, hey, man, that's that's Robert Quinn, man. I ain't want to hold y'all too long, man. Just wanted to show y'all a handful of plays. I got one more too. This was just Robert Quinn being flat out relentless, and relentless is a thing that we need um in terms of being like a pass rusher or whatever. I was about to sign out. My bad. <laughs> I just wanted to show y'all this one more. I wasn't gonna do it because it wasn't really um a technique. We're talking about technicians here, and this wasn't really a technique of Robert Quinn, but um I thought it was a play that was needed because we do need effort. We do need relentless effort and pass rush. So I just wanted to show that now. Now I'm signing off. Uh, don't forget about the Patreon, right? We're giving away a lot of free merch on that thing. Um, I've sent my emails out. Y'all respond to me, and I'll be shipping those out in uh, in, a, in about a week or so. So hang tight and um, you know be looking out for your merch or whatever. We're giving out free merch to everybody that's a Patreon. We're gonna put you in this drawing, and uh, we're gonna pull names, and we're gonna send out stuff that you ain't got to pay for. All right, I'll even pay shipping. Yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I. All the links you need are in the description. Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and the Peace Whiskey, man. Salute. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.